We are back to announce the winner. But before we are going to do that, can you, Matthias, please tell us what the winner is going to get? Definitely. Uh, so besides the immense media attention and the opportunity to be here at Founders Day today, uh, the winner, winner will receive a service package that includes uh, consultancy from PwC, branding and marketing aid from San Francisco Agency, uh, legal services from Dottir attorneys, and as a cherry on the top, something that money can't buy, uh, flights and accommodations to San Francisco to meet the creme de la creme of investors in the valley. And now it's the time. Let's welcome Iron's Life, ne Life Mode Networks, Mishkan, and the head of jury, Rebecca Lynn, who will tell us the winner and how the jury made their decision. So we'd like to, uh, to thank the three companies for, for coming today. They were incredibly well prepared. It's very impressive to see such a diverse range of companies here that have made it to the finals. So I want to thank all of you. So they told me I had to do criteria first and then announce the winner. So our criteria was, was fairly specific and standard. It's uh, what's the go to market? This is probably one of the most important things. Like how fast can you penetrate the market? How well thought out is that? And uh, how much time and capital is that going to take? The second one is how large is the market? Even if it's small now, how fast is it growing? And uh, then how big of a company can you make from that? The third criteria was how well your solution actually addresses the pain point. And then the fourth criteria was presentation. How crisp, how clear was it? How well did you communicate? And uh, I am excited to announce the, the winner, which gets sort of a half point for creativity on the name which in Hebrew means residence of God, is Mishka. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Very good job. Thank you. Kiitos paljon. Hyvä suomi. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the belief. Let me get a little bit into the name because, you know, you don't think about maybe God that much when you think about machine learning. Uh, but I'd just like to say maybe one or two words about that. So the name actually means a, a place that you have to build where a very special thing resides. And that's exactly how our tool works. We wrap machine learning models with something that monitors them. They reside inside of it and they're learning all the time. And that's what the Mishkin is. So I would encourage all of you, no matter your faith or association, to dip into ancient texts that you love, because they might have some really creative solutions to your modern problems. Thank you.